In the previous episode of the Iron Cats Wild Coast trip, we explored the small town of Rhodes and its mountainous beauty. So it was my second time in Rhodes and uh, this time we camped at uh, Alpine Swift, it was a beautiful campsite. If there's one thing about me, I grew across a mountain, so whenever I see a mountain, uh, that means my heart is dancing. I keep saying that it took us five hours because it felt like five hours, <laughs> but, but I think apparently it was like two hours. Our next destination was Coffee Bay at White Clay Resorts, a beautiful campsite with ocean views and we rose to a stunning misty sunrise. Good morning, my flu is a tad better, but this view is absolutely exceptional. Misty, the sun just came out and it's just burning all the mist away. And with this swift rooftop tent, we've got the most beautiful open view, it's amazing, it's amazing. Very interesting place. We stayed at uh, White Clay Resort and uh, we camped just on the cliff next to the to the ocean there. For me, I think it was my first time uh, camping like that. Amazing campsite. Uh, you hear the waves throughout the night. It's a beautiful morning here in Coffee Bay. It's a bit misty, but no clouds in sight. The sun is shining and we are gonna go to Maputi. It's just outside of Coffee Bay and we're gonna build the biggest breakfast the Wild Coast has ever seen. We're all nice and hungry. Maputi is a beautiful place where you go down these steep cliffs. There's a river that mouths there, there's caves. It's just a beautiful setting to build a nice breakfast and chill out for the day. So, here we go. Good morning, Mick. Hello. Jack. Are you well? I am extremely well. Chilled out. Do I look chilled out? You do look chilled out. I am. Yeah. I am. Just keep on chilling. So I'm uh, parking up the cruiser today and I'll be driving you. Chauffeur driven, how's that? Fantastic. Service with a smile. Does it come with tea, coffee, scones, all those things? I think you're pushing it a bit, Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Nick saying goodbye to his cruiser. East Coast always in me, Commonwealth, Lil Joe, getting love from my city. Yeah. I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride. It looks like a drive that could get interesting in the wet, uh, but fortunately, it wasn't that wet when we went through there. So it was a, quite an easy drive to actually get to to the bottom of it. Um, it's quite a magical spot. It's a nice spot. So we drove from Kofi Bay to Maputi. Uh, where we set up our awnings and we had a leg of breakfast there by the river. We saw cows uh, crossing into the river, scratching themselves against the wall. So for me, it was the first time uh, seeing cows almost walking into the ocean and back onto the river. Something that you will never experience anywhere except here in uh, Maputi. I wish we could camp at Maputi. Maputi was beautiful. Uh, we got there and we started taking very nice shots of the of the iron vans of our vehicles. When we're at the top, it's actually very wet because it's muddy at the top. But coming down, it's very very dry. It's it's fine. Um, nice place to be. Uh, gonna have breakfast. Yeah. Are we gonna awesome. swim? Are we gonna swim? I, I've got my uh, speedo. Did I say? But I'm not doing. I don't use a speedo. Even though I have it. Here yeah, with the Meerkat squad. Uh, the Iron Cats uh, gang with Iron Man. Uh, enjoy the beautiful setup that we have here. Out. <laughs> I found a perfect spot by the river. Made breakfast of champions. We had good breakfast. Um, few photos. Then, um, I don't know, it's dark. I yeah, decided to be clever that we must go hiking, for, uh, on it, must go hiking to check out the caves. Uh, we took up the challenge. We have just finished breakfast and now we are about to take on a hike that I don't know where to go. But I've got company. Yeah, boy. 
say. the destination doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the journey that matters. Yeah, ready. Ready. Ready for it. We're going to get a bit wet. It's okay. I'll carry you. Don't worry. Promise? Yeah. You're a witness. Yeah, I heard him. <laughs> we'll back you up. I'll put you here. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Why aren't you hiking? I'm a rich man. I hiked enough in my life, buddy. South African Defence Force. It's enough hiking for one man. <laughs> Why aren't you hiking? I have a weak knee. <laughs> Which one? This one. We have to do a river crossing first. <laughs> the river was a bit uh, coldish and uh, it was okay. So as we got up the cliff, uh, the two seniors within the, the team decided that now nah, it's enough. They can't uh, cross anymore. So it was myself, Derek and Steven who walked all the way up to the, to the caves. Um, I unfortunately didn't hike to, to, to the caves. Uh, I don't do very well with heights. Crossed the river, got wet, only to turn back after the crossing the river because my engine was overheating. And that's because I am not 100% well. And normally that starts nothing, but I didn't want to risk it as we went up the cliffs. That is a dead puff adder. The hike was no easy feat, and it started to show. Uh, I'm out of breath, and Duna is doing push-ups. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing? But look at that view. It doesn't show properly on camera, but the hike got a tad scary as we approached the caves. This is scary. No way to put it. The dragging butt maneuver was the only way I could get along. They said initially that it's gonna take us 40 minutes. That didn't take 40 minutes. This man doesn't have a scared bone in his body. You know, there, if uh, you grew up in Venda, Maybe you're probably going hunting as a young boy or looking after cattle. Ah, then this is nothing. <laughs> you go hiking there, you go looking for cattle or you go hunting four or five, even ten kilometers from home without a bottle of water. You? So... Team leader then. <laughs> you go up and down, up and down, and now with your... It depends on your fitness level, eh? I, I, I'm not a hiker, but I got to appreciate hiking for, for the first time because when we... There was that thing that I want to get to the to the to the caves and experience them, and when we came back, I was much lighter and with a sense of achievement. So even if the hike was hard going going there, it was not as bad uh, coming back. So I enjoyed myself there with the hike. It was me. It was the three of us. Um, when we left camp, it was five of us, and somewhere along the way, uh, the two gentlemen decided no. Uh, it's, uh, it got interesting. So, so they stayed and, and became uh, watchmen at the campsite and uh, we came back with the stories and the pictures. And yeah, it was beautiful. Uh, the experience was, was wonderful. We saw a lot of whales as well in the area. Um, yeah, if I could go there for a week, I don't think I would feel bored. back is the same road we came in on so it's gonna be a tough one Whew. and I saw the Steven the engine was overheating so from time to time I've had to stop and say hey Derek Mr. Rev time out uh, it, 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 it was not an easy hike you know but uh, you, have, you, have, you have to have a little bit of a fitness level to to, to go up there
Gentlemen, it's been an honor. Vasta <laughs> Voski. We, we made it. We um, made it. We are back. We are back. We, we made it. it. We made it. Team hiking. Team hiking. <laughs> <laughs> the the four wheelers, they left. We left them behind here. One had chest problems. <laughs> Another one was scared of heights. <laughs> they crossed the river and that's as far as they could go. <laughs> Got a nice seven year from there. Azai. Painted nicely and yeah, sense of achievement. Well done. Yeah. Like a Sh dance. Super. Super. <laughs> All along the coast, the whales were giving us a proper show and we had to visit Hole in the Wall to end off a great day. So we went out to check out, um, I think the most popular part of Coffee Bay, Hole in the Wall. Um, on the way there, I did see that there is a, a little hole in the wall and people are trying to encourage us to go to the little hole in the wall. Uh, but we went to the proper hole in the wall. Um, it's amazing. We got back to camp and there was a lot of deliberation on what to cook for the night. <laughs> How many nights we still got to go? Two nights. Uh, today's what, Thursday? Yeah. Yes. Friday, Friday Saturday. Saturday. Yes. yes. Still got two nights. Yeah, we've got enough meat. I still got lamb chops and steak. So 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 if it's eight, so this is everyone gets one, 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 one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You can imagine this piece in a plate. It's no, small, no. okay? Okay. Then, then here, two, two. then it's two, 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 two. Yeah. So then it will be small. Yes. Yeah. And what time is it? We make right. dinner now. And then there's then we the, add the, 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 the So why yeah. do we need steak? Just to snack, add to the snack here. No, but the snack is the impala for Plunky it's steak. Fine. Plunky steak. I can bring I've got kudu kebabs. I can add them here. As a snack. As a snack. So and by the way, here there is one, uh, two, three pieces left because we are seven. See, there's extras. That's not much. My mat is for two. <laughs> <laughs> he cooks for two and he eats for two. <laughs> That's not much. Uh, this here, gentlemen, is just so that you can take evidence home. Mm that it wasn't just meat and beer. Yeah. There was vegetables involved as well. Let's do that, Nick. Yes, Please, yes, take, yes, take a picture for proof. Broccoli, carrot. No. What's that? Sweet, uh, sweet pumpkin. Okay. Broccoli, baby marrows, mm. little white uh, cheese sauce, low fat. Low uh, fat. And cheese. Nick, you are the man. Here you go. The unpredictable wild coast started showing, but a little rain wasn't going to stop us from our very carefully planned meal. Good morning, it's another beautiful morning in Coffee Bay. The sun is shining. The clouds are out quite early, which means we might get a bit of rain. Last night, in the middle of the bri, we got some rain, so we had some uh, trickery that we had to do with the awnings and everything to, uh, to eat last night, but we got it done. And today, we are leaving from Coffee Bay to Mboiki. We're passing Port St. John's, and I've got a few secret spots then I'm going to show the guys. Uh, we've got about five to seven hours drive today and that's why we're doing a quick breakfast and then we're hitting the road from Coffee Bay to Port St. John's. It's all gravel and then we're going to start traveling uh, towards Mboiki. So I'm looking forward. I've never been there and uh, so far so good. So here we go. Stand there by the Christy, what are you doing? I'm stroking the voice. Playing with his sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with his sausage. Taking the ice off the sausage. You. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him what a sausage is called in uh, 
another language. Do not. <laughs> what is a sausage? Yeah, what is a sausage? Sausage just a borrowed word. That's a borrowed word if you gotta call it a word. Yeah, but there's no. In all the languages, mm. it's also it's, it's borrowed word. Do you need to be linky? Christo, you're stroking what? Yeah, to be linky. To be linky. To be linky. To be linky. Stroking to be linky. What does that mean? To be to be. Do that. Do that. What does it mean? Why are you involving me? I don't know what that is. It's baby sausage. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> After all the sausage talk, we deflated and hit gravel. So then we made uh, our way from Coffee Bay to Port St. John's. The drive was, was long. Um, I think the first, I would say, couple of hours, the road was very scenic, driving through the villages, through, up, through the hills, mountain passes, the rivers. Um, if there's one thing that I think stood out for me um, is the rolling hills and the big rivers. Um, you don't see that in many you know, in many provinces. Port St. John is a small town, but uh, we had to make our way to the viewpoint where I think it's the Mzimbuvu River, to the airstrips. Found soldiers on the road, I don't know what they were doing there, but um, made us sign something. And we went to, um, to the viewpoint at the top in the PSG airstrip. It's, it's an amazing view. The weather started catching up to us and we arrived at Mbochi Mountain Bush Camp a tad late. Luckily our host Marnie organized some delicious snacks upon arrival and this place was proper rustic and beautiful. I was out drinking, looking for the next thing, I couldn't really settle down. Always on the road, I didn't want to slow down. Our plans this morning were to were to do the, uh, the waterfalls. Unfortunately, we can't do that because of uh, the weather, which is caught up with us. And uh, so we'll probably get to see one of the waterfalls, and then we're gonna make our way down to Underbeck, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's just a little bit of a. But it's, I think the trip has come to a point where it's at a, it's at an end, and uh, we feel that we've seen quite quite a bit of it. We've seen enough of it. And the wild coast, as much as it's raining and we can't maybe conclude some of the things, I think it, a, a trip that ends like this just tells you you need to come back. Good morning. We arrived at Mbochi Bush Camp Lodge late last night, just after we looked at the viewpoint at Port St. John's. Christo told us that he's not feeling well. We got a doctor and he's on his way home. I'm also feeling under the weather and the weather is not playing along. We wanted to go to Waterfall Bluff this morning. That's the waterfall that goes into the ocean and the weather is just not playing along and it's gonna be a very slippery, messy business to go through there. And we have decided to head on back uh, Joburg's way. We might encounter a waterfall or two on the way back, Magua Falls being one of them. It's one of my favorite waterfalls. So we're gonna see if we, uh, if we have a, a nice viewpoint and hopefully the rain plays along. Uh, but that's the trip for now, and if you do like the videos, please like and subscribe. I also want to give a massive shout out to uh, the guys from Meerkat Squad. Thank you so much for joining us. It was one for the books, and most of the trip, the weather played along. But there's so many things to do in the Wild Coast. 
and we've just touched the surface of it. Thank you so much for watching. Our next trip is Zambia. We're going to the bat migration in Kasanka, so look out for that. See you next time. Cheers. It was a very, very good trip, and yeah, looking forward to more. J Rainy. J Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those places, you know, you can't come here once and say you're done. But overall, the Iron Cats trip, fantastic. I had a good time here. We're looking forward to going home and uh, seeing our families again. It's been a, a long week away from them. And uh, yeah, work is also calling because we've been out for a couple of days for a week. And some of it we spent, you know, on the phone, on the emails and so on. So it's been, it's been a wonderful experience and I appreciate what uh, Iron Man and, and Mirkat were able to put together. And uh, this was run by Iron Man. We thank you and appreciate you so much. And we look forward to the next one. Um, and yeah, showstopper, we'll see you on the next one, buddy. Uh, we, we, we missed you. We missed the oven and the uh, lunch stops that we know you are, you are as the chef, you know, you, you, you take care of us there. And yeah, so I think this is a nice, nice end to, to our trip. What's um, happening? We're trying to just, we're just going to give this guy a very slight tug, not a tug, very, very slowly, gentle, just lift him off the rock in front of him. So nothing hectic, dudes. Go for it. Uh, you can put your brakes on, so you can tell, tell us when to release, yeah. We can release. You can release, release okay. Release, release, yeah, so brakes. Go. Slowly, Dirk, yep. Stay yeah. All the way to the cement, if you can. Shit. See that? Well done, son. Well done.